Hey guys, Ollie here from Local Knowledge, and today I'm gonna show you, it's a little bit of a refinement of a rig we've been using for a long time, and that's the dead flying fish rig. Now, I didn't wanna stink up the studio with a real dead flying fish, so for example here, we're gonna have a California flyer. I've got a few things that you're gonna need here. Some heavy leader, 400 pound, you're gonna need your crimp kit. Uh, mine looks like a serial killer put it together and that's just how I like it. Got a little butane torch. You can also use a lighter. Good set of crimpers. Obviously crimps and all that gear and then some hooks. This is a 10-0 VMC uh, Dynacut Southern Tuna hook. Great hook. This is a 5-0 VMC treble hook. So the basis of this rig is really, really simple your 10-0 and your treble hook. Treble hook goes in the tail of the bait, 10-0 goes across the shoulder. Here I've got, it's actually a little longer than I like, it's about a three foot leader. I've been going about even down to two, just so the angler can wind that fish as close to the tip as possible. It makes it easier to stick gaffs in it. But really straightforward, 400 pound, 10-0, good clean crimps, good chafe gear. And then look, this is the detail of this rig that I wanna make sure nobody screws up. We are crimping the leader main line to the J hook first. And then we are taking and crimping the leader for the treble off of the loop of this. There's no way you're gonna get both of these chafing gears through the eye. The things you need to note here to have the best rig possible is gonna be this distance here from eye to eye. So when we first started fishing the dead flyer, we just figured out ah, whatever, just kind of let this hook. It could be 10 inches, it could be whatever, as long as it reached the tail of the bait. Well, what that ended up doing with all of this slack was when this thing, and this is for example, not how I would actually hook it and I put a rubber band on there. Um, what this would do is if you left a lot of slack when you were fishing the bait, it would sit here and we call it popsicling. It's just going straight up and down like a dead popsicle. It really doesn't get bit that well. What I'm trying to accomplish by using this seven inch span from eye to eye is getting this rig to suspend the bait in a more horizontal fashion. It gives you a more natural presentation. The other thing too that I like to do is I put this into a school of fish and I'm not getting bit and I slap it on the water. And like any predator, bluefin tuna obviously being a predator, motion catches your eye. The other thing that we do to get bites is we walk the bait. And again, in this position with the boat, one motor in gear, I can just walk this bait along and it's naturally kind of slapping the surface and providing that movement. And just a couple of things here that I want you to remember, the seven inches, this hook is actually gonna go through the shoulder of the bait right behind the wings sideways. So in reality, when I'm pinning on my bait, I'm gonna come this way, in here, through, and it's gonna go that sideways. Seven inch spread, this line's gonna be more or less snug down here at the tail, and that's gonna support the bait and give it that flatter look that I really like. Couple of things to remember here, we have other videos in our channel teaching you how to crimp, but just very quickly, I wanna show you again a quick way to make a nice clean crimp. You got your leader, you got your crimp, your crimp should be sized so that when you put two pieces of the, the size line you're putting in there, it should be nice and snug with a minimal amount of play. Then you're gonna put a piece of chafe gear. This is Teflon tubing. Um, there's got a PTFE tubing. You can get it at Granger, you can get it at tackle stores, you get it wherever. Very important for those long battles and also it's gonna protect your fish from chewing you off. Stick the hook on, okay? This is the part I think a lot of guys miss. I'm gonna push this through and I'm gonna take my little torch. The mushroom is key. It gives you a little bit of extra insurance in case this crimp slips. So you wanna mushroom it you're gonna have all that space away from the crimp, so obviously you don't burn your leader. And then once you've applied the mushroom, and this is some sticky chafe tube here, it takes a little bit of work to get it around the corner. I kind of set it up like that. I'm gonna pull all my extra mono through, and now I've got a fully protected uh, loop here that I don't have to worry about the fish chewing me off through. A lot of times they'll get these hooks really deep. This could be in the corner of their mouth or this part, which is what necessita necessitates the 400. I strongly recommend using a good heavy fluorocarbon like this Cigar Blue here for strictly chafe resistance. They're never gonna see your line. This stuff has got a really hard shell to it and it holds up very well to a big fish chewing on it for a long time. And then very quickly applying the crimp, super easy. Match your crimp 
to the size of the holes on your crimpers. This is a 2.2 millimeter, they call it a D. You'll see them sized by letter as well. This is sized for 400 pound test. Do not pay attention to what the crimp says it's rated for line size. Different leaders have different thicknesses, just using different kinds of material. So really make sure you're getting a good fit. And here's what I do. I put my crimper right in the middle of the crimp. Super easy. I'm gonna crimp down. I like to use a pressure of a bench. These are big crimps and big leader, right? Now I got one beautiful crimp. Honestly, all you need. This will hold this thing, you know, for hours and hours under tension. But I have a little bit of a problem with being OCD. So I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna leave myself about a 16th of an inch of crimp sticking out of my crimpers. And the reason we do that is so that the crimp will flare. And you can see there, the crimp flares outwards. It's not touching the line. It's butted super tight against my chafe gear. So I don't have an opportunity for this line to bend, rub on the crimp and say goodbye to my fish. Do the same thing here again. Leave myself about a 16th of an inch sticking out. That is a properly crimped line using the right size crimp, the right chafe gear. Now what I'm gonna do for my to put on this onto my J leader is I'm gonna kind of put a bend in it. I'm gonna measure seven inches from here to here. And then I'm gonna I'll sometimes mark it with a Sharpie and then I'll cut all my stuff, slip it on the line, make my next crimp. That's it guys, 24 to 36 inches of leader. It's gonna be a 10-0 J hook. The uh, Southern Dynacut from VMC works great. 5.0 treble, awesome. Seven inch spread, properly crimped. You're ready to go catch a big bluefin tuna. Thanks so much for checking this out. If you like our content, please subscribe, hit the button down below, and let us know in the comments what you guys like and don't like about these videos. We take that stuff to heart and we appreciate you watching.